Cody, TJ Kirk, known as the Amazing Atheist, made a philosophical video that was so good, I felt compelled to present it. However, parts of it were objectionable, so I edited and critiqued it. Here goes. TJ said, This is about how humanity is a festering pile of shit, and I hate the entire species. So, not my most uplifting material, but I was in a bad mood. Enjoy. TJ continued, Sometimes people say, TJ, why don't you care more about the fate of humanity? Here's why. Humanity is a collective of pieces of shit whose totality is a giant turd. What's to care about? Humanity at its worst is a bunch of murderous, warmongering jackals and rapists. If you need to verify this, simply crack open a history book or turn on CNN. You might have to wait a while on CNN, though. They'll probably tell you about some bimbo actress's latest dress long before they expose the death toll in Syria. But if you're patient, they'll eventually remind you with, oh yeah, while we distract you with shiny people with bubbly personalities, the whole world crumbles around you. And I agree with him. He then said, at best, humanity is a bunch of simple-minded a-holes who are so misinformed they think voting means something. Instead, I say, humanity is so misinformed they are ignorant of gender, race, and other basic facts about people and think that good is evil and evil is good. As for voting, TJ was right at the time when all candidates were basically the same. But voting became important again since we again had diverse candidates. TJ said, you have to choose between the authoritarian right and the slightly less authoritarian right. Most Americans accept this blatantly false dichotomy as an exercise in freedom. He's right about our limited choices, but our choices are actually either the slightly left or the far left. He went on, it's no different in most other countries. The UK still even has monarchs rattling around. They say, well, the monarchs don't really have any power. You're more like a figurehead. Well, congratulations on that. You've managed to pay for, with your tax money, people who do nothing except attend ceremonies and live in the lap of luxury. Why? Because they came out of a royal vagina instead of a peasant vagina. Yeah, you're so enlightened. And I agree with him. TJ observed, some people say we are redeemed by our geniuses. You know, Shakespeare and Einstein and all of that. Yeah, Shakespeare wrote some poignant plays, but how many people understand them? We've produced some incredible minds, but, um, results not typical. I repeat, results not typical, and I agree with him. T.J. griped, Einstein revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, but most Americans still think that everything was created by a vengeful wizard who lives in the sky, and he's invisible. But T.J. was completely wrong. It was William and Caroline Herschel who revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, and they were God-fearing, committed Christians, of the Christian God being unlike T.J.'s poor caricature of God. T.J. then complained, Every day people starve to death, people fight in wars, girls have their clitorises removed, people are forced to work in deadly mines and inhospitable sweatshops. Those are just a handful of things going on right now. Not on some other planet, but on Earth. Not in some distant past, but now. And every day we do nothing. What he said is certainly true. He did concede, I'm not unsympathetic to, to those who cling to hope. I too have seen extraordinary acts of kindness and love from the species. Many people tried to do good, and I agree. TJ explained, here's the problem. To create something, it takes cooperation, understanding, compassion, drive. To destroy something, all it takes is one little action. For example, to build the Twin Towers took architects, construction workers, factory workers, shipping companies, inspectors, and an infrastructure. To destroy everything they worked on only took a few hijackers and a couple planes. I kind of agree but it took lots of time to develop a big hostile organized culture and the technological weapons in order to arrive at terrorism. He also remarked, John F. Kennedy's entire cognition was destroyed by a tiny piece of metal. It 
it took an entire democracy to elect Kennedy, but only one man with a rifle to nullify their choice. T.J. was right to bring up this tragedy, but I would have brought up the story of Abraham Lincoln instead, since the same thing happened to him, and he was a much better president than Kennedy. He continued, that's why we're irreparably bleeped. Complex things of beauty, things that symbolize our greatest accomplishments, can be taken away from us in an instant by any thug with the willpower and modest resources to do so. Creation is hard, destruction is easy. So evil has a serious inherent advantage in our world. So, anyone who wants the rosy view of humanity and its chances for a bright, shining future must contend with that. Good luck. TJ is right, but the saved in Christ have hope in the next life after God makes everything right. To possibly motivate his viewers, TJ remarked, Think about what you are. You are a miracle of evolutionary biology. You have a highly developed brain capable of greater leaps of cognition than any other species on the planet. I agree, save for one thing. You are rather a miracle designed by God. In the end, TJ offered no solution and peddled his merchandise. My solution is for people with extra intelligence and higher morals to do their best to enforce their ideas and culture and eventually use genetics to breed more intelligent and morally upright people. Take care.